pretend What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hey guys, I'm back with another video about oily skin. Now, today I already have my eyebrows, my foundation on, as well as my concealer, because I already talked about those. And now I'm going to talk about my favorite matte um, powders, or powders that help me try to mattify my skin throughout the day. So, I haven't put any on, so I can apply some so you guys can see. But, I'll show you my top faves. Now, my absolute favorite one that has color to it and a lot of coverage is my Studio Fix Powder. This one is my go-to. It's an NC20. Um, I know it's a little bit on the lighter side, but I really love to use this more in the center parts. And then what I do is I go in and contour with something darker or bronzer or something. But this is what it looks like. The price point is about $28. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so worth it. It lasts me about six months in, um, in here, and then I just go get another one. So, the other one that I like to use too is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Now, this one is a little tricky. I don't like using it with foundation. I like using it all by itself. It blurs the skin. It looks amazing. I feel like if you use it with foundation it oxidizes a ton it changes color um I don't know why it just does it's just really weird so I like to just use this by itself with the applicator that it has in it so this is what it is um I talked about it in another video reviewing it I absolutely love this product the black side is the side you want for fuller coverage and the white side is the one for lesser coverage um, it's really velvety. I love how it has the big, huge mirror, and I love the packaging. I think it's really cute. And my number is Y305. Now, the other one from Makeup Forever that I absolutely love is their Super Matte um, Powder. I barely have any left, but I absolutely love this. This is more for the very, 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 very hot days. <laughs> when it's really hot, I know I'm going to be really oily. This is what I use. Um, as I said, I barely have any in it, but I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it for the past, like, six years, and it does make a difference. So, people out there that are in Las Vegas weather or whatever, or even Miami weather, this is going to work really, really well. The other one I like to use, too, is the Allura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now, this is, like, probably everybody's favorite. It is expensive. It's about, I think, on like, I think it's like 50 bucks for one of these. But it lasts me forever. Like, forever. You don't need a lot. Um, a lot of people like to use this to bake. Um, I'm going to do a video on that if you don't know what baking is. Um, but yeah, it works and it doesn't have any color to it, which I, I love if I'm trying not to put more color. Sometimes I'll use this and then at the end I'll finish it off with this. Now, my other go-to is the Ben Nye Luxury uh, powder, Banana Powder. This one was a craze a couple years ago. I like to use it every now and then just because it has a little bit of a yellow tint in it. I don't always like to use it, so I like to use this more under my eyes. Um, but yeah, it's the price point is about um, $16 to $18 depending where you buy it at. Um, but it's by Ben Nye. It's something that you get more like at a costume um, shop or like a special effects like makeup store um, but yeah it has a lot of product in here it holds a lot of product um, but yeah I would definitely do any of these today I'm gonna go ahead and do, use two of them I'm gonna use my studio fix and I'm also gonna use the translucent uh, Laura Mercier powder so I don't like to swipe because our face is oily so you just want to dab and just press press it in just like that.
and as you can see it gives a little bit more coverage makes the skin a lot smoother just like that now what I'm going to do is contour my face and I'll be right back and then we'll use a L'Oreal Mercier powder okay guys so this is what it looks like with my contour and now I'm going to use my beauty blender um, just to kind of put a little bit more of this Laura Mercier powder. So I like to tap it right into the cap, just like that. And then kind of shake it a little bit. And then I go ahead and press um, on the side of this. And then kind of just tap it in. And because the beauty blender is like damp, it kind of melts everything together. You guys can also contour your nose. I don't tend to contour my nose. I probably should, but I don't. I just really don't have the time for it unless I know I have a nurse coming to watch Gabriel but if not I just skip that part because it just takes too long you can do this with a brush too if you want to you don't have to do it with a beauty blender that and with the brush I'm just going to show you quickly you're just going to like swirl it and kind of tap off the excess and then you just kind of do that a little goes a long way with this stuff so you don't need a lot but there you go now um, you can also spray your face with a setting spray um, or put a little bit I like to put a little bit of highlighter after I do all this because I feel like if you do it after the fact or before if you put oh my god you put the highlighter before you do the Lord Mercy translucent powder I feel like it takes a little, a little bit of the oh my god I can't talk it takes away like the luminosity of your highlight so I would just leave that last okay going in with my um, hyper real glow palette from Mac it's the um, peachy one the more um, peachy one because they have like one that's like coppery peachy and the other one's more like a goldish tone um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this color right here just like that I kind of like tap and swipe, not like just swiping because I feel like it's just going to take off product off my face because then you're moving the product and you don't want that since we have like oily skin. Just like that. Ooh, look at that glow, look at that glow. And then we'll intensify it with um, studio the Studio Fit, uh, the, the, the Prep and Prime Mac Fix Plus, sorry. <laughs> I just can't talk today. I don't know what is going on with me. Okay. So, there you go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love the way this stuff smells. It smells amazing. I can never get enough of it. At work, we used to like spray a ton all over throughout the day just to like reset the makeup. And there you have it. Now, if there's a setting powder that you like that's maybe more inexpensive than any of these, Please let me know and comment down below. Um, let me know if there's one you'd like for me to try out and to give a review on. Um, but yeah, if you have any other ideas, go ahead and comment down, comment down below. And yeah, thank you for watching my videos. I am so appreciative of you guys watching my videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Honey, I'm a